This is the Two Minute Timeout with Joe Shuda on WRTA. Hall of Fame pitcher Jim Cott gives his opinion on whether Pete Rose will be inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame. I don't think he'll ever get in. No, I think based on what he's done on the field, there's no question, just like there isn't for the guys who are now uh, being kept out because of their PEDs. But I think because Pete was not remorseful, and I actually talked to him, I coached for him for a year. So, you know, my thinking was, if you had a problem and you admitted it and you apologized, you were remorseful, I think baseball, you may have had to serve a year or two suspension, but not a lifetime. But because he was not remorseful, and he had all the evidence plain as day that he bet on baseball and now he's selling shirts out in las vegas for an extra 10 or 15 bucks he'll sign and say yes i bet on baseball so i think that's really what killed any chances pete had of getting in there i questioned jane clark the uh, chairman of the hall of fame and some of the executives there i questioned them on maybe putting a display in there of what pete did and i was surprised they reminded me there are exhibits of pete rose there are 33 different exhibits of Pete Rose in the Hall of Fame. What are your feelings about how baseball, really all professional sports, have jumped into bed with gambling? Oh, I don't like it. It's only going to invite problems. But, you know, as we see with everything, whether it's promoting the home run derby, even though they don't want more of, you know, home runs, they want more of a, a normal game. If the money's involved, they're going to go the way of the money. And that's what they've done with gambling. That's your two-minute timeout. I'm Joe Shuda.